Recently, I made a couple jumbo photo frames for a, an anniversary party for my line dance group. This first photo frame was purchased from Party City and as you can see it says class of it was the only photo frame that they had so i purchased it thinking that i would work with it and just go ahead and cover up the graduation decorations so this frame comes in pieces and as you can see i put the pieces um where they're supposed to lay and then there are also these metal sticks that go in between the pieces to connect um, one part of the photo frame to the next. So that's what I'm doing here, connecting the metal pieces into the frame. I'm actually trying to get it to line up so that the black lines up um, exact even with the black of the other part of the frame and as you can see here I'm kind of making some adjustments to which side I put the piece on because it wasn't exact it was kind of uneven a little bit So I almost have all the pieces put together. Um, these, these metal sticks provide some stability so that the frame won't bend as much when you're holding it. And here is the frame with tape on it. So the package comes with tape that you used to Take the corners that were put together with the metal sticks. So that provides a little bit of additional stability as well. So you actually tape the front on those four corners and there's tape on the back in the four corners as well. I was provided with um, photos to use for the um, photo frame. So I'm going to take these and put them on the frame as I see fit. I was provided some of the images to use on cardstock paper and the remaining images I was provided with um, they had actually laminated them for me to um, make them easier to use. So I'm actually going to cut everything out. And here is everything cut out. Those are some of the dances. And there is also a couple of photos regarding the line dancing group to be used on the jumbo photo frame. Here are some more decorations, some red shimmery stars and black wrapping paper. I'm going to wrap that around the frame. I have some school glue and some craft glue 
and I also have some glue sticks. There are some black stars that I'm thinking about using as well. At this point, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to design it. So I have a lot of decorative items that I'm going to be pulling out. There are some letters. And once I have everything out, then I will decide on the design that I want. So here is the finished product. I actually, instead of using the black wrapping paper, I covered the edge with the neon construction paper. And this is what it looks like completed. So I used neon because the party is actually a glow in the dark blackout party. So I thought neon would work well with the theme. Here is the second photo frame and this one came from Michaels and as you can see it is already put together. I believe they take a piece of cardboard and cut the middle out. So I decided to use the black wrapping paper on this one and wrap the frame in black. And here are the materials again, the letters, as well as the pictures and the dances, the stars, and some other, some other items that can be glued on. And here's the frame completely wrapped in the black wrapping paper. I took these stickers and I painted them silver so that they can go with the theme of what I had in mind for this photo board. And here it is. Um, this is the design that I have in mind. So I'm playing with how it's set up just to make sure that everything looks okay to me prior to me gluing everything down. So I just wanna make sure that what I have in mind looks presentable. And here's a photo of the overall look of the frame. And here it is completed with everything glued down. So this was the final product of the black frame. Since the theme was a blackout glow in the dark party. Here's an overall view of the completed frame. And this is the finished look. I hope they enjoy these photo frames for the party. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.